Voter turnout in Ontario has been dropping steadily over the last 40 years, as it has in elections held at every level in Canada. In the fall 2011 election, voter turnout fell below 50% for the first time. More Ontarians chose to stay home than chose to cast a ballot. Newspapers announced the arrival of the politics of the minority, the result of a disengaged and apathetic electorate. But if you read those papers closely, there was an alternate narrative playing out in schools across the province. It is the story of young Canadians learning about the democratic process, researching the party platforms, hosting candidate town halls, and debating the future of the province. The story of the largest civic education initiative ever held in Ontario, with more than 50% of schools in the province participating. The story of nearly 370,000 students under the voting age casting ballots on local candidates. The story of Student Vote Ontario 2011. Run by a small, dedicated team, Student Vote set out to engage more schools and reach more students in Ontario than ever before. In April 2011, more than 300 teachers from across the province gathered in Toronto for the first ever Democracy Boot Camp, an event organized to energize teachers in advance of the fall election. The Student Vote team worked with teachers to develop brand new learning resources for the campaign. The new classroom ready resources were designed to be straightforward, accessible, and flexible enough to be used in any and every classroom, regardless of a teacher's available instruction time. We also published our first ever dedicated primary resource for use in grades one through three. The incredibly popular Bit Strips, an educational website that lets students create their own comics, partnered with Student Vote to create a special election edition. With the Mark News, we created an election website designed to stimulate a conversation and debate on the most important issues during the campaign. Students submitted video questions and were given responses directly from the leaders of Ontario's political parties. The Candidate Connect app helps students contact their local candidates through social media and ask questions about their positions and party platforms. During the campaign, Student Vote came to life in schools across the province. It's a great opportunity for students to become leaders of their school and uh, spread the message that democracy is important. Student Vote is this, you know, kinesthetic, hands-on, authentic experience for them. And when they're given the responsibility in addition to just casting a vote, but they actually have to organize how the whole process is going to work in the school, they're way more invested in it. I found it very exciting to see what took place in my class and just the conversations that the students were having with their parents and to see the students come in and say, oh, we were talking about this last night, or I made my parents take me to the mall to meet the candidates, and I met him and I got to shake his hand. And the benefit of that as well, of course, is that the parents who may not have had an interest in that were along as well. It's amazing to see how they become engaged. Some of them start engaged, uh, but the best part is actually when a kid, you know, today we're gonna talk about the election, and someone goes, Ugh. and then, you know, a few weeks later, they're, they're going, oh my gosh, and I saw this in the news, and I watched the debate with my parents last night, and when they start to actually see that it's important. Local candidates visited schools to participate in student-organized town halls. Teachers in their classes led school-wide campaigns to get students thinking about who to vote for. And on Student Vote Day, 369,967 students cast ballots from 2,289 schools, representing all 107 electoral districts in the province. The day following the election, students could open the paper or visit the Student Vote website to find out what kind of government Ontario would have were they to decide. Students elected an NDP minority government and liberal opposition, the two parties separated by only two seats. This was by far the most successful Student Vote program held in Ontario. We couldn't have done it without you.